If you're curious about the new 3D embossing folders from Stampin' Up, you'll want to see these tips for using them. Hi, this is Sage Kimball and I'm the Mad Stamper with another tooltip video for card makers and paper crafters. Since Stampin' Up! is using a new manufacturer for dies and embossing folders, they've replaced the old dynamic embossing folders with ones that they're calling 3D embossing folder. They give the same deep impression that you're used to with the dynamic folders. The biggest difference is that the 3D folders are much thinner than the dynamics which means that you need several shims to use them, use them with your die cutting machine. To make things a bit easier, you can order this 3D folder plate. You can see it's much thicker than the cutting pads that you're used to. It may make shims unnecessary. I say maybe because each machine has a little different clearance where the sandwich goes through the roller. So I purchased the Scripty 3D folder and the plate. I love the embossed handwriting, which is quite delicate compared to the impressions that most 3D folders make. When you make your sandwich, you're going to use the regular platform for your die cutting machine. The 3D folder with your cardstock in it and there's no cutting pad under the folder and then the 3D folder plate on top of that and that's what you'll put through your die cutting machine. The impression I got was not deep enough so I decided to add a shim. When you use shims you want to add the thinnest possible and build up one at a time so you don't damage your machine. I started with a piece of regular cardstock on top of the platform, then the embossing folder and the plate on top of that. What I got was a little better. So next I tried the thick Whisper White cardstock, the embossing folder, and the plate and I ended up with a real nice impression. It's still a little subtle so I did one of my favorite techniques to accentuate the embossing. I inked the folder before putting the cardstock in it and putting it through the machine. If you want to learn how to do that technique, just use the link provided to see the video. The At this time, the only 3D embossing folders that are available are the brand new ones. In the catalog, they have a little red circle with the letter N in them. Stampin' Up! says they don't have a date for when the carryover 3D folders will be available. If you want to stay informed of ordering issues such as this, as well as Stampin' Up! sales, promotions, and such, be sure you're on my newsletter mailing list. Use the link provided to sign up. Thanks for watching. Please like this video, share it with your friends, and leave me a comment. For more inspiration and instructions, be sure to sign up for my newsletter at www.stampingmadly.com. Visit me on Facebook and Pinterest, and don't miss another great video. Subscribe to the Mad Stamper YouTube channel now.